This video shows the response of a high-strength double-share bolted timber to steel connection. The connection was designed to fail in a non-ductile manner and is formed by two timber members attached to the sides of two structural steel plates. The steel plates will be pulled apart during testing, subjecting the entire joint to tensile action up to failure. Bolts passing through from one side to the other transfer the tensile forces from the steel plates to the timber members through shear. The timber used in the test is Spruce Class CL24, while mild steel is employed for the plates. The bolts are M12 grade 8.8. The loading diagram shows the tensile forces applied on either end of the specimen. Now we are starting to apply tensile forces to the specimen. You can hear the timber as it splits and stresses locally while deformations start to appear around the bolts due to embedment. As suspected, the failure is brittle and involves a mixture of direct tensile failure on the timber element as well as splitting along the outer bolt line. If we zoom in on the left-hand side, we can see how the failure develops. First, embedment deformations start to appear around the bolts. Then a clear tension failure on the timber member happens outside the connection, followed by splitting fracture of the timber. This graph shows the brittle force displacement response of the connection. The response remains linear up until the capacity of the connection is exhausted at over 350 kilonewtons. In practice, these types of failure modes are usually prevented by allowing yielding in the steel components and hence enforcing a more ductile failure mode.